artificial intelligence, chat GPT, open AI, Google Bard. Well, these are the some of the buzzwords you must be hearing from last six months and one year. These are nothing but the artificial intelligence tools. And this is what we are going to talk about. Artificial intelligence is literally taking over the world. Now, a lot of fear is that people will lose jobs and lot many innovation is going to come in future. Lot many things will be automated. Now, today we are going to talk about how this is going to impact our stock market and various stocks you know in us lot many artificial intelligence stock like nvidia microsoft and so many other stocks are done very well including tesla now we have to see how this is going to impact our stock market is there any stock available in artificial intelligence so that we can invest in that stock and we can get a very good return in the future so friends welcome everyone my name is sieta pandosha welcome to my youtube channel and do click and subscribe to our channel and also like this video so now let us start deep diving about artificial intelligence so let us first understand the meaning of artificial intelligence well artificial intelligence is nothing but no it refers to a technology and industry that focusing on creating and using intelligent machine and software that can perform tasks that typically human intelligence use. so and software and intelligence which can do the task much much faster than the human and all the uh, programs are already feeded all the codes are already there and it is much much faster compared to human brain also it understand the natural language it understand the various language even you can see now artificial intelligence software are using local languages also like hindi gujarati tamil and all these you no know, english all these language different different chinese French, all these languages they are using and they are trying to create a uh, no software which is helpful to all the people across the region so that they can use it very very easily again it recognizes the pattern so in the past whatever has happened based on that pattern ai will give you about the future it will tell you about the future and that is what you are doing like in chat gpt i think the data is available till uh, 2021 and but yes in future it will be much more real data also available that is what very fast development it is happening and you can see nvidia which is a us company you see it is a big multi bagger over the last you can say 2 3 years and it is collaborating with lot many it companies in india also so this is how the more and more acceptance is coming related to artificial intelligence talking about me also guys i am using chat gpt a lot even my team and that shows and see honestly speaking the way chat gpt gives you data now much more in a structure where everything it is get a normal human being cannot do that and that is what you have to keep in mind again it learns from the data so it is like no ai is a tool which it learns and it recognize the pattern it interpret accordingly plus it help you to make lot of decision and much decision much more faster so this is how artificial intelligence is useful again no why invest in open ai in india so talking about that from cars that drive themselves to robots performing surgeries artificial intelligence helping us to transform better future so driving car open surgeries and lot many things going to come which the artificial intelligence will do much much better compared to human being and whether we accept or don't accept guys this is the future so we everyone has to work on this feature a lot again the ai industry in india is experiencing growth with a market size reaching 120 billion by 2022 and its estimate to value 1597 billion by 2030 so see the growth the way the growth is going to happen in india just for artificial intelligence and you should not ignore this thing exceptional growth is going to come in artificial intelligence again business across sector including healthcare manufacturing finance and retail are increasing embracing ai technology also imrak group experts suggest that investing in ai services company presents an exciting opportunity also guys i am going to talk today about no various stocks which will be taking help of this artificial intelligence also about 95% of indian it leaders believe that generative artificial intelligence will soon have a prominent role in their organization so that is what more and more artificial intelligence will be used by most of the it companies and that is a positive thing also accordingly according to enterprise software major silver 87% of the it leaders in india said the role of ai in their organization is very well defined and they are looking forward towards it okay they are looking forward to is how to grow 
in this market and how to adopt artificial intelligence as fast as possible otherwise they will be left behind plus investing in ai stocks in india allows investors to diversify their portfolio and gain exposure to the high growth strategy if you are able to focus in a stock which is using ai a lot the chances are that that stock will grow much better in future because the, the at the end of the day revenue will grow and you know artificial intelligence so it is super super fast and that will help that particular company to grow faster you can see in us whichever companies are using ai a lot they are having a much much better valuation and their growth is also much better compared to all other companies also the increasing demand of ai technology has been driven by need of efficiency accuracy cost even indicating a long term sustainability so long term also the way the ai is developing it is not so uh, you can say expensive to adopt like chat gpt is not so expensive but the use is much much better for the company and everything of course lot many jobs will be gone away you no know, like uh, you can say content creator writing and all so many things we can do it uh, directly to artificial intelligence as fast as possible that you always have to keep in mind if you talk about the growth guys uh, it is projected that in in by 2028 it will be a like no 3935 million usd dollar in india only okay so indian artificial market size is going to go at a cagr rate of 33% so at a rate of 33% which is a very very high rate indian artificial intelligence market is going to grow so that is a big positive now what we can do now let us take three stocks which i feel which is there in the it sector which can take help of this artificial intelligence much better and also they are implementing that also in their company so let us talk about three stocks and which can do better in future as they are using ai so talking about the first stock it is nothing but a persistent system now if we talk about the future plans they announce a partnership with leading hyperscalers to help them in their generation ai strategy they are collaborating with lot many other companies so that they can fast track their process using ai in their company again it is using tool like amazon code whispers and microsoft generation ai tools for training its own employees and improve productivity in software development it plans to train 1600 employees in ai in coming quarter 1600 people they are going to uh, work in persistent just for the ai so that gives them a very very good edge against all other companies also it also won a deal of developing a generating ai proofs of concept and building database connectors and serverless data integration for multinational technology company so they are getting contracts related to ai for deploying ai in other companies also that shows that how ai is been used by persistent company in order to grow from here also its partnership with google cloud to launch a suite of generating ai solution and aiming to accelerate ai adoption of business for businesses so yes they are uh, actually partnership with the google cloud and no, you also know that google is also working in deep in ai google tesla nvidia microsoft everyone is aware of ai and they are actually collaborating with lot many companies also so that they can deploy this ai in their uh, system also now talking about uh, guys total employees and attrition overall if you see the attrition level is slowly and gradually going down in persistent from 24.8 to 15.5 so that shows that yes you know attrition what is attrition attrition is nothing but people who left the job so if the attrition level goes down that is good for the company another you have to see the client concentration so tap top 10 customer is almost 39.6 again top 5 is 28% and almost top customer alone 10% so uh, basically you no know, you can see there is a good diversification it is not that yes on top 10 customers they are almost 40% but they are working on that so that less and less reliance is there on the top customer again if you talk about uh, service line breakup so normally in persistent technology and emerging verticals is having a highest that is 48% life science is having almost 18.6 and bfsi is almost 33.3% however geographical breakups if you see almost 
is almost North America, Europe is almost 9.7, India is 9.9 .9 and rest of world is 1.2. So India is having only 20% contribution, rest is North America and Europe. So much more dependent on the global. But overall from here also I think uh, persistent will do well because the way uh, they are adopting AI and they are putting that in work. Now another company which I want to talk about is nothing but Tata Alexi. Tata LX, if you know that it has gone up a lot after that it is uh, actually corrected but if you talk about Tata LX, they have partnered with ISRO for upcoming Ghanaian mission and again they are using AI a lot they are actually that is one company you know, which is working in much more innovation and they are now helping ISRO also on that part again the business outlook looks to be strong for transportation with multi-billion dollar wheel leading automotive company. Again the company added 422 employees during quarter year financial year 24. The attrition rate declined to 15.6 which is quite a lower one. The company's hiring plan to continue optimal blend of freshers and later employees which will be ready in next 6 months. Again they are working on their employees and earlier the attrition rate was much much higher. Now slowly and gradually it is going down. So if you see employee metrics, no attrition level Earlier it was almost 19% which has gone down to 15.6%. So that is a good way slowly and gradually their attrition is going down. Again employees, number of employees is going up. Kind concentration if you see here, top 10 is almost uh, you can say that 51.9% and top 5 is almost uh, almost 42%. So slowly actually they were quite a concentrated portfolio and these are some of they because, because they are working on very rare technology and that's why the clients are less but they are giving a lot of good you can say that output also if you talk about uh, service break line then embedded product design is almost 86 percent okay so product design this is where artificial intelligence will be very very useful again industrial design visualization is almost 11.3 percent system integration is almost 2.8 percent talking about geographical breakup guys 37.4% is Europe, 40% is USA, India is 17% and rest is 5.3% is rest of world. So actually if you see major their business also is across USA and Europe and it shows that no, of course if USA is in a problem they will also be in a problem but slowly and gradually maybe in 6 months, 1 year. Once the interest rates start going down no, globally, I think IT will boom and these are the companies which will maybe benefited. So talking about Tata Alex, if you see earlier the stock has gone up a lot and now it was give, getting a premium valuation, higher P ratio compared to competitors because the way the growth Tata Alex has shown over the years. Of course now it is corrected a lot but from here also if they are going to work on artificial intelligence much more at a deeper level and they are going to embed complete artificial intelligence in their uh, you can say that business models and everywhere i think this company may do well so you can keep an eye on tata alexi also now let us talk about third company third company is nothing but scient now scient let us talk about future plans first is transportation under aerospace the management is seeing strong signs of spending super cycle which happens once in a decade and current aircraft platform is 25 years are due for upgrades along with the other new program so because there is an because the aircraft platforms are going to upgrade i think site will be in a much more beneficial uh, level and they can get a very good spending super cycle okay jo bahut hi kam hoti once in a decade hoti so that will be benefiting them again sustainably there is a strong demand from e enu companies on green energy and hydrocarbon so in green energy hydrocarbon yes scient is having a good role and they are also actually providing service there so their scient is playing a big role and this will be beneficial to them because you know the next bull run in green energy and hydrocarbon is going to come as more and more people are uh, going towards green energy plus growth area demand for auto remains strong and outlook remains robust with two large sales signed under the quarter so from auto industry also you know that as the electric vehicle is coming you know, more and more demand is going this is where scientists also playing a big role in providing the technology and all that parts plus the current fiber penetration 55 in the us in expected go 65 on back of government projects so there also they are helping in the fiber penetration and there 
the as the penetration will go up sign will be on the beneficial part now talking about uh, revenue segment see by geography america stands around 49 percent europe middle east is around 25 percent and asia specific include is around 26 percent so around 75 percent is between us and europe again if you talk about where the business is contrast concentrated business is concentrated in aerospace okay rail transport so 44 percent in transportation cnu around 29 percent okay and communication 24 utilities 5 points so this is how the business unit uh, bifurcation is again if you talk about employee matrix total headcount is 12,000 technical pool out of that is 11,000 so more and more they have a technical pool technical and pool employees you know which is which is giving it much more better technical support so this was all about the third company that was signed i think that will also do very well in coming future you can keep an eye on this as and when spending go up in their uh, wherever the companies you know where they are providing so i think this will be on a beneficial part so guys i have talked about three companies the first is persistent company second is tata lx and third is signed i think these three companies are using artificial intelligence in a much much better way and they are getting into into you can say much more at a detail level to embed complete artificial intelligence in their company so that in future they can grow much faster than the competitors so i think you can think about these three companies for the future also also guys just let me know if you hold these stocks or not in the comment box i do review your comments every time so do put it any other company if you want me to review i will review that also so hope you like this video and do subscribe and like our channel and i'll see you in the next video